I don't know. Somebody tell me what to do. Oh, my mouse is... Okay, hold on a second. Oh no, my mouse is feeling that crap. Okay, whatever we do. Use the controller so that way the camera doesn't move too fast. Um, where the hell is... Still no input. So I missed... Did I miss... God. I can't believe I messed up that ending. Man. I don't know what that ending is, but... Wait, wait, wait. New, new content? Ooh, I think you're tricking me. Don't be, don't be like Cyberpunk and be tricking me, okay? Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Yes, I noticed your sign because, you know, it's big flashy neon kind of, you know, like, ooh, squirrel, you know, moment there. All right, more elevator time. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what do I do here, guys? What do I do here? What are we doing? Water, like water, you know, like the stuff you drink, are we doing? All right, fuck it. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and Who about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The I original cool. Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one oh step God, even God. further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable oh, 2. Snap number two? Do we get the game for free? What's going on here? Yes, you oh, see, isn't this far shit. superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. Oh, An entirely shit. new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Damn it. Okay. All right. Can I answer a phone? Hello, operator? Okay. Jerk. Investor showcase. Well, I'm not an investor. Calling it the Stanley well, Parable Two is just so much investor. catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe. What does it even mean? The but sequel. the Stanley Taste Parable the Two. Now that's an artistic statement, right there. We got it's future oriented. It screams and progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Is there a golf game going on? What is that? That's cool. Uh, off painted. Oh, that's one of the office paintings. Oh. This is cool. Oh, that's, see, that's beautiful. I like that. Hello? Anybody here? Developers? Narrator? Hmm. More. Uh, better pss. Um, I don't, I don't know. How do you, okay, color red. Okay. Sequential mindshare. Okay. Parable 2. Same plants. I guess, uh, you know, because we chose the right door, it's showing the red. Brain is the right. Pss, two logo ideas. Bro, that's my, I thought that was my work laptop for a second there. I was like, holy shit. Actually, actually, no lie. That's my work laptop. Like, being dead ass serious right now. It looks just like my work laptop. Uh, almost to the T, too. That's crazy. Must be a Dell. Dude, Stanley, you're getting the Dell. 
Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been I mean, developing I'm for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game it's development is much meaning. more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Okay, all right, well, what am I, what am I doing? So it was a Mac? Dude, it looks like, it looks just like my Dell, bro. Like, dead serious. But it, it probably is a Mac, because, you know, everybody likes Macs. I mean, dude, it even has the same ports as my freaking laptop. Sick. Like, dead serious right now. But because of that bird being a, only, it's probably a freaking Mac. All right, you guys win. Fine, you guys win. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman, Arkham Asylum 2 became something else. Divinity, Doom 2, Aladdin 2. I don't, I don't think I played Aladdin 2. Dark Souls 2, that's a good one. Doom 2, I'll give them that one. Okay, all right. Bucks with it, as the people say. The peoples, the Stanley Parables. The deuce sign, okay, so let's, let's deuce out then. This way to the show floor, please. New features. I mean, I mean, this is already kind of cool. New content, can I get on the bus? We're gonna, a jam city man, okay. <laughs> right, this better be cool. Oh, that's... Okay, that is kind of cool. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Well, there's some merch. Oh, it's the bucket. Woo! First of all... Stanley. That's Stanley. No screenshots. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah, I just took a screenshot. Yeah. Screw you, buddy. The button that says the name of the player that's playing the game. The button that says... Oh, 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 okay. So you go... Dude, that's... I hate the carpet, but it looks good. Oh! I went to take a screenshot, and it won't let you. But you, oh, that's so tight. Okay. The new updated Ray Trace, more of the same, but in a good sequel. Okay. Oh, if they're going to make it Ray Trace, it's going to, the performance is going to be fucking terrible. Okay, that was kind of tight. Not going to lie. Like, I went to hit the button, and, and it was like, it wouldn't take the screenshot. Like, that that was really cool. Well, drinks, takes the sequel. Yeah. Let's go uh, see if you can hear your name. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and Small validated nipple. as people. Medium -sized nipple. So with that in mind, Too my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Very wonderful narrator. You're doing such a great job. All right, let's get. Hold on, hold on. Great nip. Well, see, that's that's too that's too long of a nipple. So, yeah, I mean that's pancake nipples, and that's just that's just got diarrhea. So, yeah, we're just gonna leave that alone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my mind. That's what I feel like is going on here. 
All right. <laughs> Oh my god, give me a second. Okay, all right, okay. Oh my god. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I think I just gave myself the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you what do you guys like? Do you like small nipples, big long nipples, big areoles, or what? <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Okay, all right. I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh shit, I broke myself, dude. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Oh my god, I'm surprised the narrator hasn't, like, oh my god, kicked me out yet. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. I don't think it's going to work, but screw it. Jim. Sorry, oh God. I Jim from the office? It. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play so, so Jim from I the office you'll is in love the game, it. guys. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath. Clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. No. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking Bob, as Jim, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call falling in Bob. love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. No, my name's Bob. Jim. Bob. <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. So, so that's a Mac? Okay. What? Bob. Jim. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. <laughs> Bob. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. No, no, Otherwise, you, soon no, you'll no, start to lose no, all gym. sense of who you actually are. Jim. Jim. Damn it. He, he took it away from me. What a jerk. Are the nipples still over here? Alright. Alright. Small, but long. Not right. Pancake. Okay, I said I'll stop. <laughs> Alright, no, no, not again. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. That's all that's going on here. Okay, so he took the button away from me, so what the hell? What the hell, bruh? Oh, he opened the doors back. Okay. Just, you know, just saying. Alright, alright, alright. I'll get out of there. Alright, I'll stop being, I'll stop being rude. Enjoy the new feature. I suppose I, mean, I could allow only else? people named Jim to play the Stanley okay. Parable 2. That would actually Double save me on. the work of finishing this feature. Ooh. Infinite hole. Oh, is that a big Stanley doll thing? Okay, that's kind of tight. It's tight like a tiger. So, okay, alright. Bucket? Epilogue? What's next? 
This t-shirt is the best new feature. No, no, actually, I do want this t-shirt. The one with the brain. If somebody can get me that, I, I, I would. That would actually, the doors are back and the brain. I would love those two. Because, uh, you know, just saying those are tight. And then even the freaking peace sign, you know? Okay, so which way do I go? Do I go epilogue? Do I go through the thingy? Uh, do I go through the door or do I go through the reassurance bucket? I almost want to go through there, but I don't know if I'm going to get stuck. But I want to go through here too, and I don't know if I'm going to get stuck. Infinite hole, jump circle. The butt Wait, jump circle, let's go. Where's the jump circle? jump circle this map we're at the five so wait what so what the jump circles over here oh it's over there oh I got some jumps left okay so hello Stanley all right hold on let me let me check this out here um I've got you know what, Stanley? Up, right? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. Oh, I should have left 27 up there, huh? Well, make it even. Get it here, guys. Get it here. I want to go up here real quick. Wait, what's that? That's new? Collectibles... Free new easy achievement. Okay. I twenty five is not an even number. Duh, but it's still divisible by five for five times. Right? Right? I mean I meant to say like in, in multiples of five. Is is that cool? Can I can I do that? But I'm not saying like even number as in like even number. I'm just saying like, you know how people, okay, you know how you have those psychos who turn up their TV volume using odd numbers? Yeah, I don't do that. So you know what? You know what? Just because, fuck it. <laughs> Yo, what up Stanley? Boy, do you got a donk on you? You got a dump truck? Nope, never mind. No ass at all. I don't I don't know where I want to go. <gasps> oh. 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 Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around Wait, gathering up these around? miniature Stanley figurines. What and hell? what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Um, this is cool, but what? The door is so far behind, okay. Going forward. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Boom. Collectible. Look. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see how it is. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. I don't know what I want to do because I still want to do. There's so much in here. I don't want to like take the wrong door or something and then like can't we come back? I want to see what's up there. 
Let me go over here real quick. Hole like infinity. Time is deeper. Mm, the words hole and deeper. All right then. It's holy crap. And then there's a rim. Seriously, hole deeper rim. Okay. What is, what is this? You trying to tell us something, Stanley? God, bunch of pervs, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, if an infinite hole chart. Okay, then. It just keeps going. Uh, uh, I want the bucket, though. Okay, so I really want the bucket. But I also want the easy achievement. Do I have to make choices? Shit. Okay, um. I don't know what to do. Infinite Jess. Alright, well, I want the bucket, so I heard something about buckets. Now I'm gonna go up here and get it. Right, can I get the bucket? A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much Despair? consideration, no, good, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the man. Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley the Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Well, Could you imagine what a pain bucket? in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Was that, was that his fact, laugh? That was can I say of, that I do scary. believe the bucket yeah. lends you an air of charisma sure. as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Damn the benefits right. of the bucket seem face. to go on and on, don't they? Now All like this and more await you face, in the Stanley Parable too. Did it open? Yeah. Alright, so can I just go get like the. Does the anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Bro, Stanley is so weak that he can't carry the bucket without being encumbered. The hell, Stanley? You skip leg day, dude, or something? Not do any deadlifts lately? Alright, so. So we gotta we gotta do the hole, but I also want to do that and uh, that over there. So I, I guess you could do them until you go through the exit. Okay, so let's um, let's go get this first. I guess it just works in video. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. Oh, no, not a wizard, Stanley. But I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers! We hear you, and I promise it will happen. So, so you can't get it? They lie to me? God, why does everybody lie to me? Forget it then. Let's just go. Disappointing. 
Leave a leave a negative Steam review. Terrible choices made in Stanley Parable 2. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh, we haven't seen the hole. And we haven't done the one over there. So I don't do, I don't know if I need to should I do the hole? Fettings world champion. Mm, screw you, buddy. Uh, I want to go down the hole, but I also want to see what's over here. So, is this... Wait a minute. I don't know about that one. Oh, it's just a trick. Okay, so parable. or right, so we've done... We've done the bucket. So I guess let's go do the hole. Where do, where do I go to get to the hole then? Put it in the hole. The bucket that is. I'm carrying a bucket. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video How game. How deep can we dig? This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Infinite hall. This way. Do you know the way? A weird noise. Oh shit, I fell down. I didn't even. Okay, first of all, I'm looking at the isn't hole. isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, Great. you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue on. Eh, I don't want to press no buttons. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe no. do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum no. of things. We're rebellious. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. <laughs> it's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that Game it is isn't an astonishingly rebellious. deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? I don't know well, if that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Oh, From shit. one perspective, on? the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more oh. of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think <laughs> the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. It's like throwing off. <sighs> Look, uh, the thing's Hot got a little heated the there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then Partially go ahead and press the teleport sorry. button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move or, or, on. It's I'll a just be up hole. here when you're ready. We do it again? Let's do it again. Great. Now, I'm very excited Whee! to show for heaven. You see, I was right. The <laughs> problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. You're, you're damn normal. right. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, Wait, no, no, no. You short? have a weird sort of... Oh. Wait, why was it shorter? Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but yes, feel you like asshole. you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. I mean, damn it. Why did he make it short? I mean, we could always use a new mug, right? 
How dare you beat the narrow? Oh. Fine, I'll stay there. I'll stay here. I'll, I'll stay here so I can go twinkle. So he, so he won't, okay, all right, well. Okay. Had enough? I'm positively yep. thrilled. And gosh, <laughs> how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. Oh, he made if it way shorter. If this starts to become a thing where, wow, okay, yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Right. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, That's what she said. let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my life. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. No, I have jumps left. Let me jump already. Damn. All right, whatever. Hmm. Uh, is the, um... Teleport button not working? Correct. You sure? Yes. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. You broke it. No, I want to jump. Oh, Still nothing? Well, I suppose. I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. Why you get to be, be with like the that, hole, dude? I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. Man, this guy, I man. hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Hey, come back. Man, the narrator is being a jerky jerk. What was the theory that I proved? That ball go down a hole, or that that, that that uh we can't we can't uh what's the word? I'm, oh God, words! Uh, uh, what the hell? Yeah, you can't even jump at all, so that's good. I love this music though.
Stranger things, bro. Are we up in there, dude? Oh, shit, we upside down. Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no, that's Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, we're looking baller now. Okay, so yeah. Stanley? Who broke the Stanley. fucking game? Stanley! Oh, God. Oh, okay, good, you're back. awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. Bro, because this dream? hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. The hell's Toodle Pip? Bruh, get me out. The hell? Oh shit, not again. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh wait, did it? No! Oh. Oh, we're back here. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Stop recording. <laughs> 